In this Sailing Doodles, we take you on the interior of Puerto Rico where we visit Arecibo and then set off down the south coast where we have some fun. This season of Sailing Doodles features Bobby, Taylor, and our special guest for the next few weeks, fellow YouTubers, Babe, Where's My Passport? So follow along on our journey as we set sail for the Caribbean in our 1989 CT-56. This channel is made possible by our patrons. Thank you so much. In the previous video, we crossed the Mona Passage and arrived safely on the dock at Marina Pescaderia in Puerto Rico. When in Puerto Rico, there's a few things you have to do. There's the Arecibo Observatory. Um, it's a what well, used to be until 2016 the largest radio telescope in the world. Now China surpassed that. But they also filmed uh, a James Bond movie there. I think it was uh, Goldeneye. And anyway, we're gonna see that, and then there's a pretty cool cave system we're gonna go see. So let's go do it before it starts raining. It was a little over two hour drive, so it required a bathroom break, which the gang was not too thrilled about. I don't think Taylor's quite too happy with the uh, state of the toilet in there. <laughs> How is it in there? Yeah, it's uh, pretty pretty nasty. There's a woman's, uh, what you call them? A diaper? No, like a, like a pad. Oh, oh yeah. maxi pad. Red, red, red stuff, yeah. yeah. Oh. I just found a quarter on the floor. In there? No, yeah, outside. <laughs> yeah, in the toilet. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I know you can't expect much from a gas station bathroom, but damn. <laughs> that reeked and there was no lights. That was a very scary experience. And there was lots of dirty stuff in the, in the garbage. Oh. Oh. Oh, I just want to shrivel up and cover <laughs> myself in hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> With the disgusting bathroom break complete, it was on to Arecibo. So those are the anchors there, and I mean, those cables are steel and big around as your head, you know? Wow. Think about how much those cables weigh alone. And then, you know, it's gotta support all this other stuff. Oh, so it was 26 bucks for us too. Got our wristbands. Yep, and so we'll head inside. We made it just in time for the video presentation in English, and then on to the array itself. Oh my god. That's incredible. The amount of maintenance that that would take would be never ending. So Bobby, do you want to walk on that bridge? Nope. No. The Arecibo Radio Telescope Observatory finished completion in 1963. From when it was finished until just recently, it was the largest radio telescope ever known at 1,000 feet wide. I'm not the only person that had no interest on going down this walkway. It's also known that Pierce Brosnan refused to do this in the movie Goldeneye and instead had to have a stuntman do it. Jodie Foster didn't need a stuntman when she did the same thing and for her movie Contact. So they put the dish here because they needed something close to the equator and this is like the closest U.S. territory that could house this that's close to the equator. There are 40, almost 40,000 of these aluminum panels that are three foot by six foot, they're huge. In this area, it was kind of, there was already a natural sinkhole that was pretty close to the, the specs that they needed. So that way it wasn't that much work in excavating before actually building. Right. Like this was already kind of a natural area that was already like this. Yes. And that way they didn't have to damage the environment or anything right. in building it. Just the scale of it is absolutely it's mind lot, blowing. It's a lot cleaner. Like uh, last time I was here, it was very dark looking down there. They cleaned it a little, I guess. I don't know. They have to clean it very so every so often. But I've heard like that actually the, the growth on there doesn't really affect it that much. It was actually damaged in Hurricane Maria. Uh, it's uh, one of the antennas that actually yeah. snapped off. 
and then it fell down and damaged a bunch of stuff. It looks like they've been able to repair it though. On the inside, they have a little museum with a lot of displays mainly catering to students. So they have 100,000 visitors here a year, and like 30,000 of those are like school kids, so that's why they have all these like kind of little games. Inter interactive yeah. kind of things. So definitely worth a stop here at the Arecibo if you're in uh, Puerto Rico. Cool spot, what do you think? Yeah, it's like, it's educational, but it's also really cool. Like it's just yeah. interesting. So put it on your list. On the way home, we stopped at a little roadside food truck. Roadside meal, all this six dollars, pretty good. I highly recommend Marina Pescaderia if you're checking in from uh, into Puerto Rico from the Dominican. Ooh. It's uh, you can check in with the CBP here, although don't do it like we did. Yeah, no, don't uh, uh, accidentally smuggle in illegal immigrants. Right, right, right. And then, uh, but uh, the staff super friendly. I even borrowed a car to go check in. Uh, you, we rented a car for a few days. Lots of cool stuff around here. Good restaurants. Good people. And so. Yeah, we really like Puerto Rico. Like yeah. I, one of our favorites. Like. I haven't even been there so that yet. Not yet. So. Yeah. All right. Well, let's untie the lines and get out of here. It was time to top off the water and get going. Of the channel, Theodora did a great job at bringing in the lines. Thank I handled you. some of the lines and the buoys oh, or fenders. Sorry. Fenders. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, no, we're well on our way. And things are going good. It looks pretty smooth out there. So I'm pretty excited to uh, head south. Graham's flying the drone and getting some sick shots right now. And we have no rain. Yes, it's for now. Sunny today. Knock on wood. Oh yeah. We've, we haven't gotten any more this afternoon. It's been raining like every day, every day since we got here. Now so. all we need is wind. Yeah, exactly. Get the now sails we got, up. We got two knots of wind right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take, I'll take it if it means no rough seas, though. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm down for this. At first, we were in the wind shadow of Puerto Rico, and then we were headed straight into the trades to La Pagera. If you've been watching the previous episode, you know we're having some fuel contamination issues. I think it's that one tank is really bad, so I'm just gonna the switch one that tanks. Hasn't been done yet? No, I think it's the starboard tank is the worst tank, so I'm just gonna. Okay, we're in the middle of the sea. The engine's like it's going crazy. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's fuel filter. <laughs> is that for the next, uh, yeah, next that's episode? Yeah. So, I mean, don't worry, guys. Just a fuel 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 Spit it filter. <laughs> Yeah, should be the last time we have to do this for a while, though. First, thank you for your information from our cast regarding the genetics of approximately 15 hours. Wow, here we go. Piece cake. Awesome. With our fuel filter change, we could head on down the south coast of Puerto Rico.
Our stop for a few days was one of the best cruising spots in southern Puerto Rico, La Paguera. It's a fun town and sheltered by lots of reefs covered by mangroves. Crash course in jumping off Naughty Dogs. Look down. <laughs> you gotta jump up. So we got Taylor, Graham, and Captain demonstrating. Cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Life doesn't suck, guys. Get out here and, uh, I mean, if you're dreaming about doing this, find a way to make it happen, because uh, one day you won't be able to. So enjoy life while you got it. Just a reminder, we are applying to every comment within the first hour after we publish a video. So click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when we post a video. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible.